Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get input from a caller and then compare that input with a variable. So for this example, we're going to get a pin from a caller and then compare it to a variable we set up. So I uh, created this flowchart just to map out what we're going to do and we can use this um, to track our progress as we build this script. So right away, when uh, the application is triggered, they are going to check the pin and if it's correct, it's going to play this prompt um, and uh, it is going to take the caller to the part of the script that we'll build out later in this series. Um, but we'll give them the option to press 1 to overwrite or record um, or uh, press 2. Um, I didn't get that quite right, but you can read. Um, and then over on this side, if they didn't get it right, it's going to say, hey, have they tried less than three times? Give them another shot. If it's been more than three times, sorry. Uh, we're hanging up on you. So um, with our plan in mind, let's go ahead and get started. And actually one more note. I already went ahead and recorded all these prompts. I did a little bit of work for that already. So if you need a refresher on how to do that, look back in this series. I actually cover that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the script editor and I'm going to click File, New, General, Blank Script. Okay, so all we have is start and end, so the first thing we actually want to do is accept the call, which is under contact. So contact, accept, and we'll put that right there. Um, so now let's check out the, our little roadmap here and see what we want to do next. So we're going to want to play a prompt, 1003. So we'll go back to our script editor. I'm going to make this full screen. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we are going to go down to media and then choose get digit string right here. And I'm going to right click on that and click properties. And as you can see, before we can save this, we're actually going to have to create a string variable because what it's going to want is it's going to want to take what the caller puts in and save it as a result digit string. So I'm going to click cancel here and I'm going to go down to the bottom left where there's this arrow and click that which will create a new variable. And I'm going to type in, let's have caps lock on, I'm going to type in a string and I'm going to name this caller attempt. Actually caller pin attempt and the value is just going to be an empty string so I'm going to go ahead and then click OK and now we have our variable that we can save so I'll go back into properties and I'm going to say that the result digit is caller pin attempt now we also want to play a prompt telling the caller what to do so that prompt if we look at our flowchart is right here prompt 1003 please enter the pin so quotation marks 1003 oops dot wave and apply and okay so now we're going to want to think a couple of things so um, did the caller put anything in or did they just sit there and let it time out did it not work for whatever reason um, and did we get the pin? We need to control what happens um, for any of those uh, different possibilities as a caller makes her way through the script. So what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to put a, a label attached to this uh, caller pin or this uh, get digit string step. So if you go into the properties again, here's a label and we'll call it enter pin. Okay. And so now you can see that this is branching out and we have a couple options. We have successful, timeout, and unsuccessful. I'm going to start out in the timeout branch and I'm just going to create a go to uh, label and that is up here in uh, the general folder. So if it times out, I'm going to say just go to enter pin. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for unsuccessful. So now we need to think about what happens if they actually manage to get the pin in. And let's think about that. So we need to create a pin variable 
and then we need to compare what the caller enters to that variable that we create. So first thing I'm going to do is create a variable um, for the pin. And once again, it is going to be a string, and I will call it correct pin. And I will make the variable, or uh, I will make this one one two three four five six. So ultra secure um, pin. And so now we need to compare. We need to uh, drag in an if statement. So back in general, we'll drag an if statement into the successful branch. So let's right click our if statement, go into properties. And we have our two variables down here, caller pin attempt and correct pin. And we want to compare those. So we're going to say if caller, you got to type it perfectly. Pin attempt, two equal signs. And it took it. If, uh, if we had a typo or a variable did not exist, it would throw an error right there. So we are in good shape. And so this is a Boolean. Either it's true or it's false. So if the caller pin attempt is correct, true, then let's look at what we want to do for our flowchart. We want to play <coughs> prompt 1005, and then we want to go to the end. So let's go ahead and build that out. Um, so back in media, play prompt, properties, prompt, quotation marks, 1005, WAV, apply. And then we're going to want to create another label here right above end. And we'll call it end. Okay, so, and then we're going to just uh, make another go-to right here, right after that's played, for now. And this will change uh, later in another video when I show you how to actually um, upload prompts. Um, and so then uh, let's go back to our flowchart, and we made this branch here. They entered the pin correctly, great. Play this prompt, go to end. Um, but what if they didn't enter it correctly? Let's go ahead and work on that branch. So first thing we wanna do is we need to create a variable called tries. And then we need to um, see how many tries the user has attempted. And um, if, uh, if it's less than three, send them back to the, the um, get caller input step. So let's go ahead and work that out. First thing we need to do is create a variable to hold um, to hold the value of how many attempts have been made, and so it's going to be an int. No, oh. let me just. So the mistake I made there is I had a capital I. You need to have a lowercase i, um, and I'm going to call this login attempts, and the value is zero. Okay, so if the user, if the caller pin does not e equal the correct pin, we're going to want to increment that. Okay, and now after that, we're going to want to do another if statement. So if login attempts is greater than three, oh look, I did a typo. So if login attempts is greater than three, then we want to go to end. So I'm going to copy this, paste it there. And otherwise, we want to go to the enter pin. I'm going to just paste this again and then change the go to to enter pin. So I believe 
that completes the flow chart so we should be able to upload the create an application upload this and uh, give it a try but before we upload this we're definitely going to want to go to tools and validate just to see if there's something painfully obvious we missed if validate doesn't work the script is not going to work period okay so i uploaded uh, the script i created an application and i made a trigger for 8001 um, I already covered that in other, in other videos, so I didn't want to show that again, but um, just so you know, you can look back in the series if you're not clear on that, and it, uh, there's a video that goes over that. So let's start debugging. Um, going back into script editor, now that everything is uh, all set up and ready to go, and I'll go to debug, reactive script, then I'm going to choose a script that I just uploaded, which is prompt manager, Prompt Manager 1.aef, and I'll do a wait time of 300 seconds, which is a lot, but that's okay. So now on my Jabber, I'm going to call um, 8001, and it should start the debugging process. So, Jabber, where'd you go? Okay, there it is. So, I'll call 8001, and as you can see, it connected. So. Please enter the pin. So I'm going to do it correctly first. So I hit pound as the delimiter and let's see, now you can see it slid down to the next step. So it successfully got it and then if we look down at the variable here too, we can see that Caller pin attempt equals one, two, three, four, five, six. And the, um, the hard coded correct pin variable that we set is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we set this up correctly, this should go to the true branch. So let's see what happens. And it did. So it should play this prompt. To listen to an existing prompt, press one. To overwrite or record a new prompt, press two. And now it should go to end. Okay, so we know that branch is now set. This side here, we know that it will play the prompt, it will take the pin, it will see if the pin is correct, and then it will go to end. So now let's go ahead and try the other branch and we'll do the incorrect uh, pin a couple of times. And uh, make sure that after uh, three attempts, it's going to um, kick us out. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So let's start another debug. Reactive script. Prompt manager. 300 seconds. Please enter the pin. Now we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, pound. And let's see what, and false. Okay, so now we can see login attempts just increase to one. Now it's going to tell us to do Please it again. Enter the pin. And it's increased to two. Please enter the pin. Okay, so now we've tried three times, so we're going to get one more chance. Please enter the pin. And if this is set up correctly, it should now hang up on us. And there we go. It worked. Um, we are all set on this script. I just realized one thing that I forgot to record one of the prompts or actually add it to um, the script. And that was the one where it said, uh, that's incorrect. Please try again. I'm kind of glad I did it because otherwise we'd have had to listen to it like five times. Um, but what I'm going to do is just uh, add that now since I just thought about it. So I'm going to add... Let's see, so false, 
and then if login attempts is greater than three so we want to put it right here before it goes back into enter pin so this is where we want to put the prompt that says um, incorrect please try again uh, let me pull up the flow chart and it looks like it's prompt 1004 so I will go back to my CCX editor if I can find it here and actually I'm look I'm totally saving it in the wrong spot um, I'm going to just close this debug session and I want to change this to 1004 dot wave okay so now that is going to play correctly and we have our flowchart completed tested working and I'll upload those changes. I hope this was helpful for you. If uh, you like this video, please uh, like, please subscribe. If there's a scripting question you have, uh, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys are trying to figure out, and hopefully I can give you a hint. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.